I used to love using Google Reader and hitting share inside of Google Reader and then sending those particular items I shared out to my appropriate social networks. This strategy may not work for everybody and I suggest that if you implement it and you use it you know sparingly as you're testing things out. You don't want to overshare the same thing everywhere although I tend to keep myself consistent across all the networks. I don't worry about duplicating the content. I figure I've got people that follow me in one and not the other and I'm fine with that. That said, what I've done is I've moved all of my content from Google Reader over to Feedly, feedly.com and I use the compacted layout option, not so much the magazine style, when I want to quickly get through reading all sorts of different things. So here's an article that might interest me about Google Glass. So I could read the article and then before you start going and sharing it, I highly recommend that if you're seeing something like the word more, that you actually go and read what the rest of it says. Now, you could just hit the letter V if you're in Feedly, V for view, and the whole article would pop up. So you read the article, and before you actually share it out, you make sure that everything in it's something that you are interested in and you feel like the people following you would be interested in. You'll notice at the top inside of Feedly that you've got all of these options. For most people that might just be enough and so if you wanted to share the same thing on Google Plus, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn, you could go click the individual buttons and off it goes to the multiple places or you could use uh, Buffer which will send it to Twitter and your LinkedIn personal for free. That said, uh, you know, Google Plus, it's going to be manual for personal profiles there for a while. So I could click on this plus one and it, it pluses the article. And then if I want to actually share it, I still need to leave a comment and then click the share option. What I have done, and I'm not going to share this one right now, is I'm not thoroughly reading it while making my video. What I've done is on the right hand side, I've already gone into my settings and uh, enabled pocket formerly read it later and here is the little pocket button and if I were to click on that pocket button what that's going to do is put the article into my pocket account pocket get pocket Q here we go so you'll see here's all the different articles that I've been reading in pocket lately and I could come into this and read it later and the nice thing about reading it later inside of Pocket is that I don't get distracted by all the other stuff going on on the website. That's not really why I use it though. What I use it for is anytime I have a new article going into Pocket then it can go through my Hootsuite account and tell my Facebook business page, my Google Plus business page, my Twitter accounts, my LinkedIn company page and a few other things. Now to do this so you create your account in Pocket and you tell Feedly here's my Pocket account and off and running you go. Then before you go to Hootsuite what I do is I come over to IFTTT if this then that and there's a great little recipe here on if this then that and it looks like it's by um, either Kyle Arning or KI Learning I'm not really sure whichever it happens to be so this art, this I'll post as a link in the video notes and also on the blog post that this will be on. You'll see that what this does is any time that I am reading Feedly and then I save an article to Pocket, what I have it doing is auto-scheduling that information into Hootsuite. So if I were to see five articles when I'm blasting through my news every morning over a good cup of coffee, I don't want to bombard people with a bunch of articles all at once. So what I have it do is auto-schedule those messages out so that they are spaced out throughout the day. I like using both Hootsuite and Buffer. Um, in this case, I particularly like going through Hootsuite because I can get to more places and I pay for that. And I don't feel that I need to pay for both Hootsuite and Buffer at the same time. That said, uh, that's my pick. That's where I'm going with and I get more networks that way. So I tell it to auto schedule. So what I've done is I've come into this recipe and I can select which accounts do I want this to go to. So here is one for sending it out to Twitter. And I can say, do I want it to be the title, the URL, the excerpt, what have you. Most of the time I'm going to say I want this to be just, you know, the title and the URL. And Google Plus and Facebook will, and LinkedIn will automatically generate that little excerpt preview. You just simply click Use Recipe and off and running you go. 
To do that, you'll have to configure your channels inside of If This Then That. So that means here are all the different services and the ones that are lit up are the ones that I've activated inside of my If This Then That account. So I can have them doing all sorts of different things. So if I, it used to be that if I share an item in Google Reader, then it goes out to the other places. Now it's that if I send an article from Feedly to Pocket, then it goes out through IFTT into Hootsuite. And from there, I could say, I want it to go to my personal Twitter and maybe my business Twitter and maybe my personal um, Facebook profile or my business Facebook profile. You really can't individually set this up. You know, what I'm looking to do is simultaneously update my company Google Plus listing, my Facebook business listing, and my Twitter accounts. Uh, you don't get a linear control inside of that, and that's what I'm trying specifically to avoid because over here in Feedly, we've got all of these individual single services. So if I were to want to share it just to a specific place, I would click on these buttons um, as opposed to sending it out to Pocket, which then syndicates it from there. I love this because this works wonderfully for Feedly on my mobile phone, as well as an app called Zite, Z-I-T-E. Zite will let me send articles to Pocket, and so again, the system can work as well. I also have this little uh, option, this little tool right up here from Pocket inside of Chrome. So any website that I'm on, I can click on the little Pocket icon and off and running it goes. So I don't really have to think about it. This is actually simplifying once created and set up and running. This is simplifying all the different uh, sharing buttons plus this and share that and one z 2 z here we go. Um, this makes it easier for me than before because the Zite integration is also a good tool for me for discovery. So that's some content creation and how I set up my whole network. I hope you found a good replacement for Google Reader by now. If not, come check out Feedly. They're really working on a lot of interesting and upcoming changes. So check them out.